This was the scene at the Comas Directorate of Education, Arts and Culture. Some parents lined the corridors, anxiously waiting to secure placement for their children. We still have about 150 for pre-primary learners, or learners still looking for pre-primary placement. And we, we have about 288 learners or children looking for grade one. And then the big figure is at grade eight, which is around 1,000 plus children that we still need to figure out uh, where to, to place them. Apart from the growth in population, the influx of learners from other regions makes it all the more difficult with each passing year for Comas to address the issue of school placement. If you look at our enrollment every year, we, we are increasing in a region of 2, 2.4, 2.5%. So that is in a region of 3,000 to 2,800 yearly. So if you convert that into classrooms, you are looking at over 70-something classrooms yearly that you need. So if you compare what you need on a yearly basis due to either natural growth or in migration from other regions, plus the backlog that you have, so then you are in the region of 200-something uh, classrooms that you need. Amanda Mukua is a mother looking for space in grade one for her daughter. She says she doesn't understand why parents have to visit the directorate year in and year out. Because government is doing census, right? Now can they see that the population is increasing? As the population is increasing, they, they were supposed to make plans prior. It's, it's, it's not important for us to come every year to the same place. I'm thinking that the government should make it plan or they must step up, they should start thinking out the, outside of the box. The Directorate of Education remains adamant that every learner will be placed. A number of alternatives are being considered. These include introduction of the platoon system at schools where some learners would attend classes in the mornings versus others in the afternoon as well as ways to accommodate learners in temporary structures. For now, parents were advised to wait for 15 days while the directorate makes the necessary arrangements. This does not sit well with Mukua. I'm thinking of taking her back to her preschool for the two weeks. Because instead of her being at 